So uh, really excited today. I have Austin Seamer uh, with us here, and he was a recent recipient of the 40 Under 40 Award. And so, Austin, tell me a little bit about the award and how you heard about it. Basically, um, my, my dad was the one that introduced me to the award. My dad won it previously about like five years ago. So I got nominated. When I heard I got nominated, I was excited to be following in his footsteps and my stepmom's footsteps because they both got nominated together. So I was really excited about that. Wow, that's that's pretty cool that your family has leadership like that. And so tell me a little bit what you think, what are the attributes of being a leader? Basically, what I think of a leader, I think of somebody that people can look up to and follow and be inspired by. I love like inspiring like the younger like younger people I grew up with everybody older than me so I want to fill that role for those younger people that people above me filled that for me well I mean it's, it's actually really a uh, an incredible honor that you know they're looking at the top 40 leaders in our community and Effingham area is really blessed with some great leaders so to see that in you at your age um, what what do you think are your leadership skills that you've really worked to hone over the last several years? What does it look like in you in terms of leadership? Basically, uh, I think of myself as a leader because I really try to like, I try to push people and get them out of their comfort zone so that they can be the best people that they can be personally. I like helping people out whenever they're down or they need help with anything. I'll go over and I'll help them out. Or if they ask me for something, I'll help them with it. I just like being there for people. Okay. And so for you, what, what does the future look like for you? I, I haven't had the pleasure of really sitting down and talking to you much. So I am just curious what it looks like for you down the road. Um, after high school, I'm planning on either going to fire academy, becoming a firefighter like my dad, and hopefully taking over the gym eventually. Possibly going into computer engineering at college. I'm not sure which college yet, but whatever the, whatever the future entails, I'm excited for and Ready to see how that plays out. So you said you like to work with, with young people and doing things. So how do you see um, that taking place over the course of your career for the next 10 to 20 years? What type of things um, do you want to be doing to be involved in the community? Well, as a firefighter, I'd be helping out the community by keeping everybody safe and just a safe environment to be around. And with like working with kids and other people, like in a gym, if I were to ever take over the gym, I would be working with kids with like the kids program and I'd be helping them get out of their comfort zone and just being the best people that they can possibly be. So when you turn 55, I know that seems like forever in a day, uh, but I am curious uh, when you're at that stage in your life and you're sitting down and people are talking to you about your career and your leadership, what are some things you hope that they recognize in you at that age? I hope that they recognize that I did good in my life and I, really helped people out, really changed their lives in an impact, like impacted people's lives in a good way, really helped out the community and supported my family, both financially and like mentally and everybody around me mentally. I just really want to help them. And I hope that they see that I did that. So no, that's awesome. And so I, I guess my last question for you would be, um, you know, you're a senior now, and I bet that if you look back, it seems like you were a freshman that long ago. It just seems like time goes so fast. So if you had a chance and you were talking to freshmen or eighth graders or seventh graders and talking to them about stepping out of their comfort zone and being leaders, how would you encourage them? What words would you give them to think about? I would basically, I would tell them to not be scared to get out there and really just put themselves out there. Don't be shy. Don't be nervous. If you want to shoot your shot, do it. Don't wait and then miss the shot because you can. Well, that's awesome. Austin, just on behalf of Unit 40, just want to let you know again how proud of you we are and just look forward to watching you and your leadership as time passes. So congratulations once again. Thank you.